The products area provides information such as wine details, wine pricing, wine assignment, and wine history. Staff members will have the ability to transfer wine to inventory, member lockers, and change the status of a wine if bought or returned. When signed in as an administrator, inventory and audits can be performed. Once logged in under the kiosk mode, you will need to log in under Administrator ID. To do this, go to the top center of the screen under Club Wine Software and log in using your specific admin username and password. To prevent changes from being done under your name, select the kiosk option at the top right corner. This will revert the software to kiosk mode for your staff to use. Once logged in as an administrator, you will see a dialog box asking, You are about to enter kiosk mode. Do you want to do this? Select No. Select the Members tab and navigate to the member you would like to perform an audit on by either using the navigation buttons at the top or performing a find for that particular member. You can also click on the Home menu to navigate directly to the restaurant's wine list. To identify which bottles were not scanned during an audit, press the Audit button located on the far right of the screen. A prompt will appear asking for the audit start date for the particular audit you would like to review. Enter the desired audit date and click OK. The resulting list will display all bottles that were not scanned during the audit that started on the date you entered. This list will tell you which locker the bottle was last located. If these bottles are found, you can log back into inventory mode and scan those bottles so they are accounted for in the inventory audit. Once validated that all physical bottles have been scanned, the audit report can be generated again. The final report will show which bottles were not accounted for. This unaccountability can be due to bottles being damaged or removed without being scanned out. If these bottles are no longer in inventory, they can be marked as consumed and the inventory count will then be accurate. Since the software already comes populated with thousands of titles, chances are that the bottle you have in stock is already in the products area. To add your current bottle more quickly, even by the case, you can duplicate the pre-existing record appropriate to your bottle. Begin by pressing Find at the top center toolbar. Start typing the name of the wine under Wine Name. Selections of wines will begin to populate as more of the name of the wine is typed. When you see the desired wine, select the name. Press the Perform Find button to find and display the wine details for the scanned bottle. To the right of the wine name, press the Duplicate button. A prompt box will ask, would you like to duplicate this bottle? If this is the correct bottle, press OK. If not, press Cancel. Another prompt box will appear stating, The bottle ID number was duplicated. Press OK. Place a barcode on the bottle, place the cursor in the barcode field, and scan the bottle. Make sure the information of the physical wine bottle matches the record shown on the screen. If any information is incorrect, such as year, you can make those adjustments. You can now enter your price and add or change any other information as needed. Moving to the far right box titled Assignment, select the drop down menu under Member and select the member's name or the restaurant's wine list. Now you can select the locker number. A prompt box will appear verifying the locker choice. If correct, press Transfer. If not, press Cancel. An email will be sent to the locker owner or admin. Select the drop-down menu under Status to change the status of the bottle to Available. 
a prompt box will appear asking change the status of this bottle press OK if you have more than one bottle you can duplicate this new bottle record and simply apply a barcode to each bottle scan them in change the location as well as the information that is correct for that particular wine once logged in as an administrator you will see a dialog box asking you are about to enter kiosk mode do you want to do this select no you will be presented with the first record of the products screen be sure you have selected the product tab to add a new wine click on the new record button located in the top menu you will be presented with a blank record place a barcode on the bottle place the cursor in the barcode field and scan the bottle under wine name start typing the wine name if there is already history of this wine currently in the program it will start to populate as you type once the correct wine name is populated then the vintage year distributor area appellation and subappellation if applicable and variety can be filled in additionally you can mark the boxes for sommelier dessert sparkling and WBG wine by the glass if the wine relates to those categories please note these check boxes enable records to be filtered on the iPad and printed menus wine by the glass price can be set after the WBG checkbox is populated. In the center box titled Wine Pricing, the bottle price is listed. If applicable, a discount can be added either by percentage or dollar amount. This amount is automatically calculated. Additional information, if applicable, can be added as well. You can also add a picture of the wine, if needed. Moving to the far right box titled Assignment, select the drop-down menu under Member to select the member's name or the restaurant's wine list. Now you can select a locker number. Please note that the list of available locker numbers is based on the selected member, so you must select a member or the wine list before you can select a locker number. Be sure to select a locker so the inventory can be tracked accurately. A prompt box will appear verifying the locker choice. If correct, press transfer. If not, press cancel. A dialog appears asking for enter valid user. Users will then enter their user identification. Press OK. This will verify the transaction was completed. Finally, you can select the status of the bottle. Make sure you set the status to available, as this ensures that the wine bottle shows up on the iPad, printed menus, and in the inventory. A prompt box will appear asking, change the status of this bottle? Press OK. To delete a wine, click on the Delete Record button located on the top bar. Please note, marking a bottle as consumed preserves the history of the wine as opposed to deleting the record since that removes all information for that bottle. This concludes this tutorial. Should you need additional support, please contact us at 844-946-3763 or via email at support at clubwinesoftware.com.